this is Justin Popovich and Brad Goss from bradgoss.com and igniteyouressence.com and you've probably seen some of our videos already. Today we're going to mix it up a little bit. I've, I've, I've turned Brad into my student today and I want to talk a little bit about, well, I want to talk a lot about actually the mind and how our mind perceives our world because ultimately the way you think is going to uh, determine your outcomes in life. And one of the things that's so critical about using our mind is the ability to remember things, use your memory. And I brought Brad in, partially because we do these videos all the time, <laughs> but another reason is he always complains or states that he has a bad memory. And I want to see if I can prove him wrong today. And what we're going to do is with a really basic memory technique. Okay. And none of this is scripted. We literally just turned on the camera right now. Brad has no idea what we're going to do. Um, but what I'm going to do to... It's, a, it's an initial lesson. You can take this a lot further than we are today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write a list of 10 or 12 random things on the board. Uh, and Brad's going to have maybe a minute to memorize them. But I'm going to teach him how to memorize them. Then we're going to come back and he's going to look forward while the words are behind him. And I'm going to see how many he gets right. Good? Good. So here's the random list. Can I watch you write the list? No. Okay. Okay, so we have this list. We kind of flipped over there, but Brad has not seen it yet. And I'm going to let you see it, obviously, because you've got to memorize it. But here's how it works. So memory, I'm going to talk to you, Brad. Memory is basically a, a string, or it's, it acts like a chain in our mind. So when you recall things, you remember things, it's, it's one thing linked to another. And to, to memorize things quickly and simply, you integrate your imagination. So if you want to look at this list, I've got ten things here. And if you want to teach this to somebody, I, I normally give them maybe a minute, two minutes max to memorize a list this short. I, a minute should be more than enough. And the idea is, <laughs> he's already nervous, the idea is that um, each item is something, it's common to our, to our everyday world. I didn't pick anything that was in obscure words, right? So it's things that Brad has seen and experienced in his life. And what you want to do, Brad, to memorize this list is to tell yourself a story from the top down to the bottom of these things interacting in real life. Okay. But you need, to, you need to use ridiculous association. And what that means is that, let's say dog, right? The first thing is dog. Picture in your mind a massive dog like Clifford, right? Like the size of this room, walking, walking down the street and stepping on a rocket ship, right? And the rocket rebuilds itself and flies up in the air but gets stuck in an elephant's ear. And you, know what I mean? you see how this works? Okay. So you start telling yourself a story, but the whole point is like each thing is so ridiculous that you're not going to forget it. And uh, I'm going to give Brad let's say a minute right now, to, to tell yourself a story in your head, you don't have to do it out loud, and we're going to stop him after a minute, flip him around and see how he does. Okay. So a minute starting now. Okay. Alright, so it's been about a minute, we're going to flip Brad around, he had a chance to look at it. Did you tell yourself a story? I kind of did, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to tell a story with all those elements, but... It is, it is, but that's the whole point about using ridiculous imagination. Alright, so here's a moment of truth, let's see how many you can recite back to us. Dog, rocket, elephant, Tree, glass, car, ice cream, bike, grass. All right, turn around. You got every single one except Rick. So that's not bad. And he did this. There's a bit of noise going on in the background. So, and this is somebody who claims to have a bad memory. So he got nine out of ten, and that was. Maybe even less than a minute. I cut you off pretty short there. So if I walk if I walk into a room and I meet four people, I've already forgotten the first person's name. Right. That's how bad my short term memory is. Yeah. And then there are other techniques for learning people's names. I, I'd say go on to Google and look for it. But if you have any questions about it, I've I've actually practiced quite a few of these techniques. Send them in or write them on the on the blog there, and we'll answer them. So hope you like this. Try it out for yourself and try it on your friends.